How's it going, y'all? My name is Nick. This is the Inverted Visions YouTube channel, and welcome to a quick tutorial video on how to add custom music to Mario Kart Double Dash. I got a comment from D Cooper on the channel. They asked if I could make a quick little video, and I said, why the hell not? Little disclaimer, this method is not the best method, nor is it the most comprehensive or complete, but it's simple, it's easy, and it's what I do to add custom music to tracks in Double Dash. Um, if anybody has any better methods or more thorough methods, let me know. I'm sure that'll be appreciated um, if anyone's got a better way to do this. But this is how I do it. Uh, let's get started. This is uh, custom music in Mario Kart Double Dash. Alright, let's get started here. Uh, so first of all, a um, few things to note. You're going to need this right here, AST Converter. Uh, looks like somebody is playing a game. Okay, AST Converter, you're going to need this. I'll put this in the, uh, in the description, a link to this download. Um, you're also going to need Audacity, which is right here. It's a free download. Uh, I'll also have a link for that. And I want to add, oh, Eric Andre. Um, I want to also mention that um, this page right here on the Mario Kart Wii custom wiki uh, was helpful to me to figure this out. Um, so um, some of these downloads are going to be here. There's some stuff here to, for like looping. I'll mention that I don't do loops for the custom songs I add. Um, you're supposed to, but I think as long as a song is about two and a half to three minutes, that's all you really need for two laps of a track in Mario Kart. You don't need anything longer than that. So as long as the song is long enough, you should be fine. Um, but I will mention that I don't have loops on the songs that I add. So um, if a song gets to the end of its duration while you're still racing, um, it will like fade out and then start over. So just something to note. Um, if, uh, if you can't find a longer version of a song, um, that will happen unless you do, in fact, loop it, which is mentioned here, which I just don't do that because it's more work and I'm lazy. So, yeah, I'll have a link to this as, as well. Um, so for this tutorial, I'm going to uh, add a song, or two songs, I should say, um, from Splatoon to uh, reverse Waluigi Stadium um, from Double Dash. Um, and if you don't have the reverse tracks, they're cool. They should be in track edits on the wiki. Uh, yeah, reverse. So it's all the courses from Double Dash, but they're reversed and they're interesting. So for all the reverse tracks, I like adding custom music because um, I, don't know, I don't want to hear the same song again. So, so let's get started with that. So first things first, you're going to want to uh, have some MP3 or uh, WAV files. Um, these are MP3s. Um, these are the two songs that I'm going to use. This two songs from the first platoon. Um, and uh, if you uh, if you don't have MP3s or waves of the songs you want, you can throw them in Audacity. Um, you can just click and uh, oops, not that one. I want this one. Um, you can just click and drag it into Audacity, and it'll say, "Look at all this stuff." And then you can go to File and Export as an MP3. Make it really simple for you. Um, but this is already an MP3, so we actually don't have to do anything with this in Audacity. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, let me close out of that for now. I'm going to take this MP3 that I have right here for the song and drag it into this little box and say, so you dropped it. And I said, no, I didn't, it's right here. No, I'm kidding, that's a bad joke. Um, and then, uh, yeah, hit done and it'll do its thing. It does not take very long. Uh, I don't even think it has a little jingle, but when it's done, it just says you want to keep the wave file and I say no because it's redundant um, so now we have an AST version of this mp3 file and we're gonna to want to rename it let's so rename it uh, lap underscore music underscore normal lap music normal and uh, so I, for this tutorial um, I'm gonna do this just just cuz but I will let me explain uh, let me pull up audacity again so for your um, final lap music 
you're gonna want to um, speed up and pitch up the song so you know it's a little faster. Um, all, all Mario Kart games do that, and you know what I'm talking about. So to make that happen, you're gonna want to take your um, your audio file, throw it into uh, Audacity, go to Effect, go to Pitch and Tempo, and go to Sliding Stretch. Oh, that's a good thing. You want to click. Make sure it's highlighted. It'll turn like brighter white. So make sure your audio track is highlighted. You go to sliding stretch and you want to make your preset 10 and one here. So just make sure it says 10, 10, one, one in your um, sliding stretch uh, settings and then hit apply. It might take a second. So I might speed this up. Um, but right now what it's basically doing is just kind of it's making that song a bit faster and pitching it up just a little bit. Okay, so we're back. So the sliding stretch did its thing. Now that the audio track is a little bit squished and a little bit faster. So just export this as an MP3. Um, it'll, there's an Audacity folder. So usually what I do is I like just name it the same thing and then just put fast. You can do whatever you want, but that's just what I'm gonna do to, just so I kind of know what it is. Um, let me pull up that uh, folder here. So let me go to uh, this. All right. So this is where it went. You can you can export this wherever you want, but it makes an odd, it makes a folder called Audacity. This makes it a little bit easier. So what I do is I take that. And I'm just gonna cut. And I'm gonna paste it in my folder where I have my music for the uh, track. So now we have this uh, fast version of the song. So let's go back to our converter and throw that in here and it says it's not i said okay and hit convert it'll do its thing it'll just take a second say no so now we got this fast version of the same song we had and all we do is we call this lap underscore music underscore fast so we have these two AST files. This is like what uh, Double Dash reads as audio files for tracks. Uh, some proprietary Nintendo BS. Um, so here is the folder for the track. Um, this is the uh, reverse Waluigi Stadium. So all we do is we take these two files and drag them over here and then replace them. And there we go. Um, and this is just kind of what I do. I actually do like to copy and paste them just so I have the files in case I need them for something else or whatever. Um, and this is, uh, just what I'm going to do for this particular track as I, I mentioned earlier, I'm actually going to use the like, you know, final minute song in Splatoon as the final lap music. So it's like kind of, you know, more kinetic and exciting. Um, so for this, just grab it, throw it over here. Whatever, I'm not gonna make it faster or anything in Audacity because the song I think is fine for what it is. So, there we go, converted, no problem. So I'm actually going to take uh, this fast music and delete that because I don't need it. And uh, rename the file, lap music fast. And then I'm gonna take, actually, let me go copy paste that here replace the file bada bing bada boom look at that we got our lap music everything's good here all right so let's head on over here to the extender you can use the patcher as well extender patcher whatever your uh, your, your preference is i like using them both for different reasons um and this is just a huge shout out i'll just say this real quick to everyone doing mario kart double dash modding stuff y'all are freaking amazing this is the best thing i've ever done in my life i love modding this game um, I'm kidding. That's not the best thing I've ever done in my life, but it's one of them. So, we have our input ISO file, output ISO file. I'm sure if you're into this at all, you know how to do this. Um, we just need to make a, a new build um, for this version that has the updated song um, for Waluigi Stadium. So, you know, obviously if we're changing some of the files, um, we need to make sure that the um, that, that is written to a, uh, a new uh, build or a new ISO, if that makes sense. So we're gonna let, us, let this do its thing. 
And then once we're done, we should have a nice, fresh, hot, piping ISO file. I'm going to throw that on Dolphin, and we can, uh, we can see uh, and hear what the, uh, what the custom song's all about. So stay tuned. So that's pretty much all I got for y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching me get totally blasted in the first like two seconds of the race, and I recovered, even though I hit a couple piranha plant things on the way. But uh, yeah, that's the tutorial for custom music. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave me some comments. Um, if there's a better method, like I said, let me know. I'd love to hear it. And uh, let me know if there's anything else you want to see um, regarding Mario Kart Double Dash or anything else mario kart related whatever i'm really into this series so i'll make videos on that uh and i plan on making a video about uh, arcade games soon so uh stay tuned for that and yeah have a good day thank you for watching peace <laughs>